What's up, everybody? Back to the goat house. And today we're back in uh, Fallout New Vegas. Again. Um, I don't fully remember what we were doing last time. Cherry bomb. Sure. Uh, we're doing some sort of fucking mission where we gotta talk to somebody named Sunny. Alright, take it there and here. Hey! Damn, you look old. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? No, I wish not. Say no more. I'm in. Nice. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere. And Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Ah, oh, we ain't got a good plan. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. <laughs> Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Sure can. This sounds like a lot of work. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when For you can. For a game that's like 14 years old, it looks pretty decent. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Okay. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. I'll be waiting. Should I just shoot her in the face? No, we won't do that. Hell's over here. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let what? me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful out there. Thanks. That's on Ooh, 12 skill points. Nice. Uh, no. Uh... And then... Beach. Oh, we get another one of these? With each rank in the Swift Learner perk, you gain an additional 10% whenever the are earned. And the game doesn't look too bad for being 15 years old. Uh, data, world map. Oh, all this shit's right here. Okay, cool. Do 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 do.
Hey, Dak. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Oh, you're sweet. Well, I... You seemed like a good idea. I think we already heard that. No one cares. You take... You give me free stuff. Bye. Do that one yet, because I think that'll start the uh, all out brawl. Is it in here? Anyone home? No. and confused. That looks like dynamite. Howdy. What I'm can Easy, easy Pete do for, for you? you? Too dangerous. Only kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Damn it. Yep. Keep. Never mind. Oh. And the general store. Howdy. Oh, God. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If it's you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Mm. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And okay. uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Hells yeah, dog. Take it easy. All right, and then what were we? What do we have to go up there and do? Return to Ringo and let him know that Sonny's moth has agreed to help. Okay. How do we put our gun away? So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Just six? I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Ah. You guys sound like a bunch of wusses. I could take six by myself. I don't need you. Let's get it.
Why is the game so short? Take all. Come on. I'm sorry. Hang on, we're coming. Slowly but surely. You establish a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. People associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you'll gain fame. If you perform actions that harm a group, you'll gain infamy. Your reputation with a given group is a measure of the combined total fame and infamy that you earn, the benefits and drawbacks, or reputation depend on the group itself. You may receive discounts from merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough news of your good works. God damn. Oh, the power gangers don't like us. Wah, wah. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but... I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. I got you. Oh my god, we walk so slow. Where do you... A cleaver? Fuck that. No thanks. Okay, can I walk now? Yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go sell all this shit. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it can Pleasure doing business with you. Take it easy.
Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. 
Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keep. Don't go get. Oh, I bet I scared the piss out that guy. Ow. Ow. Fuck. Ow. Motherfucker. I don't... Fucking bomber rifles suck. Damn it, I pushed take all again. Fuck. Uh, what guns do we actually have ammo for? This one? And that shitty ass varmint rifle. What the hell is this for? suppose you came here to rescue me I'd cross my fingers but my, my hands, hands are numb. why yes I am it's a pleasure to meet you I'm in a bit of a predicament here I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free indeed I do good sir and I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity 
Well, you look to be a trustworthy sort. Okay, I'll tell you. I overheard them saying that they're on their way to Novak. If you want to follow them, I strongly suggest that you follow the road through Nipton. There are a lot of dangerous things out in the desert. You won't have me with you to protect you, as I need to stay here and keep Prim safe. Okay. It would be so very... Oh, that's just... Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my hell, but without it. Oh, that guy seems like a puss cake. Let's leave. What the hell is this way? Beginning where I already killed all those people. And then we're gonna go back to speech. And gun. What? Why can't we go out that fucking door? Alright, well, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode just because this mission hey is... Don't talk to me like that. Because this mission's done, I think. Or where are we going? Yeah, so those of you guys that tuned in today and enjoyed the episode, uh, the very limited <coughs> uh, commentary that was allowed, please do uh, leave a like, comment, hopefully subscribe, and as always, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.